What's going on everybody? I'm Mark Vins, and to kick off YouTube Summer Camp, I'm taking you on an adventure with me to build a tide pool aquarium. But before we can fill this thing up, we've got to catch some cool sea creatures. So let's take our dip net and our bucket and get out to the shore. I think the best place to start is going to be up on this ledge. I saw some finger tide pools and the finger is just like the long tide pool that I'm talking about. Corey, why don't you stay over here? I'm gonna move around this way. This is the exciting part, time to get started. We don't want to mess up our fingers when we're flipping rocks out there, so always bring a good pair of gloves with you whenever you're tide pulling. Those are some really pretty sea urchins. Oh, got a little hermit crab there. Boom, look at that. Hermit crab, yes. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I've got a fish. Looks like a sculpin. Woo, look at that. Yeah. Whoa. Ho -ho. Very slick, very slick. Okay, let's lift up this rock. Ho ho, look at that. All of those brittle stars. Wow, okay, cool. These are great. Oh boy, look at what I found. Sea star, yeah. <laughs> Man, look how cool that one is. Going in the bucket, that'll be perfect. Oh, and another hermit crab, great. So this living rock has not only a whelk on it, but it also has a little sea anemone. Perfect, okay, let's go find our bucket. Well, we've got our bucket of stuff, everything we came out here with. Just make our way back to the beach to build the aquarium. Okay, we've got our water for our new friends here. This Tide Pool Day Aquarium is going to be a lot of fun to build. And this is something that you could do even if you don't live near the ocean. You can do this with pond creatures. You can do this with creek creatures. You can even build a worm farm if you're not near any water like Mario and Coyote just did in Columbus, Ohio. Doing day aquariums or setting up small habitats like this is a great way to appreciate the smaller creatures that call our planet home before we release them back into the wild. And yes, that's right. That's why it's called a day aquarium because everything that goes into this aquarium today is getting released before we leave. All right, let's get started. The first thing we want to do is to create the environment for our creatures. So I'm going to use just some sand and we're going to hopefully let that settle. So now that we have all the sand in the bottom, we're going to introduce some of our living rocks. Very colorful and very natural looking to this tide pool aquarium. This one has a sea anemone on it. And when I put it in the water, it's actually going to bloom and look really cool. Oh, look, you can already see it. There it is. Got a nice bloom on that sea anemone. Very cool, glad we got that one. So we've got our rock set. I'm gonna add some plant life because how could we have a tide pool without plants? How's that look? Nice. These are no longer living creatures, but we have the skeleton of some sea urchins here. Now, certain types of sea urchins around the world are venomous, and if you're spined, it hurts really bad, but these purple sea urchins out here in California are fairly harmless and their spines are, are fairly blunt. It's not going to prick me just handling it like this as long as I hold it carefully. Let's stay in the Echinoderm family. These brittle stars are very, very similar to sea stars, except their appendages, as you can see, move a lot more. They're a lot more mobile than most sea stars. Look at them, they're like wriggling around like little octopus. We'll put these down in there and you'll see how quickly these brittle star find their way to cover. Next up, let's look at these cool sea stars. These are awesome, look at that. This is like the tank of Echinoderms, Echinoderm City. We've got sea urchins, we've got two species of brittle star, and now we're adding these beautiful sea stars. So awesome, and Corey, reach out your hand. Touch that. Oh. They're pretty rough, right? It's like sandpaper. Yeah. Yeah, they're not as uh, soft as they look. They're pretty rigid. These are two little hermit crabs. Look at this, this is pretty cool. This crab actually has eggs underneath its tail. This is a mama crab. Next up, I would love to add our fish of the day, the sculpin. Now these fish can actually be out of water. They can breathe air. See, look at it there, breathing air. This one's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful greens 
and grays. It almost has a little bit of peach flecking on the face. Look at the eyes on that. So beautiful. All right, there it is. Our Tide Pool Aquarium is finished. And I have to say, I'm really proud of this one. We caught a variety of species this morning and it looks really accurate to this environment. Now, I hope you all enjoyed this adventure making a Tide Pool Aquarium today. If you wanna check out the rest of our summer camp videos, there's a link in the description below and an entire playlist of ideas for your summer adventures. I'm Mark Vins, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, let's take a couple pictures and let all these creatures go. If you enjoyed this adventure and want to build your own Tide Pool Aquarium, all you need is a clear container, a bucket, a dip net, and gloves. However, please be sure to respect the environment and check with local rules before exploring. We should never attempt to handle wildlife without supervision. Also, we highly recommend you keep an eye on weather conditions and always enjoy tide pools with a buddy or an adult to ensure your safety. Yeah, and hey, if you don't live near the ocean, don't worry. We have some great summer camp ideas for you as well. Check out our videos in the YouTube Summer Camp playlist for everything from creek expeditions to videos on how to build your very own worm farm. Thanks for watching, and we hope you have a brave and wild summer.